y'all got SIGs? I didn't know you guys got SIG 320s. Oh, no, 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 this is the gun that hasn't even come out yet. What? Dude, this is the new, all new tactical Springfield Echelon. Wait, is it modular? Yes. yes. Let me see the magazine, dude. Are you sure? I mean, that looks just it's like right a SIG. There. Are you sure, bro? I mean, damn, malfunction. Maybe it's not a SIG. <laughs> All right. Well, a SIG wants to be this, but can't be. Let's talk about the Springfield Armory Echelon. Welcome back everybody, Clint today with Classic Firearms and we've got Kaya back with us. What's up guys? And Sarah. Hi guys. And we've got not one but two of the brand new here to be released on this channel. Actually, we're probably the eighth people you've seen talk about it today, <laughs> but it is the Springfield Armory Echelon. And yes, I'm just gonna go ahead and throw it out there. A lot of people have already received this firearm, but there are actual, I don't know, manufacturer prerequisites or I guess you could say a manufacturer's request to, hey, don't talk about this gun until this specific date. So, so today's that day. So today's, <laughs> today's, today's that the day. day. Today's yeah. the day. So you're gonna see a lot about this gun today and is it worth it? Exactly. Right, so it's kind of like, okay, cool. Also it's called marketing. But um, uh, anyway, is it worth it? The Springfield Armory Echelon. We all saw them hint at it on their social media a little bit ago, it was like the, the, the end with the yeah. sword. Yep. Yeah. Spartan. Oh, but there, there, somebody pointed out that there was fighter jets in the background formed in an echelon. Oh, yeah. Oh. Well, echelon. Well, so yeah. they kind of gave like that's observant. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Maybe instead of rushing to judgment, we should have looked at the picture <laughs> a little harder. Anyway, so overall, I have yet to shoot it, but you guys saw in the intro that Sarah oh, and Kaya both shot it. What do you guys think so far? Oh, I really like it. Really? Yeah. I'm a huge Springfield fan as it is, yeah. so I'm a, a little biased, but um, I think it shoots beautifully. Okay. It's great. Straight out the box. Yep. And it is also hashtag not a SIG. Hashtag right. not a SIG. But it is modular. Modular. Cool modular. Yeah. Okay, cool. And we like modularity in these modern times. Yeah, well, as for me, full disclosure, guys, Springfield did send this to us, but yeah. they know at no point said, hey, can you just say nice things about it? Whatever. Right. They just sent it to us. They didn't ask us to do any videos. They said, right. if you do, it needs to be by this date. So they just sent this to us. So I wanted to get that out of the way. So with that being said, my opinion full is disclosure. Gonna, full disclosure, yeah. exactly. My opinion is going to be as honest as I can mm -hmm. make it to be. It really does shoot well. And Springfield, I could tell based on their uh, promo videos and stuff that I've watched, it made this more, they, they want to appeal to law enforcement community yeah. significantly with the holsters and all that stuff that, which I got, right? Mm -hmm. But just looking at the setup, overall it shoots really well for a 9mm, uh, you know, they're already soft shooting, but this is pretty flat shooting, awesome trigger. They've made it fully modular, yeah. right? They've made it fully, fully modular where you actually, when you, sh uh, what do you call it? Disassemble, yeah, yeah, disassemble the gun. Yeah. Fire control module is the cog. Yeah. Uh, in the center, you can just remove that, that serialized item, that's the firearm. Right, so you'll see the serial number is yeah. actually right here, yeah. and you can see that through the frame of the firearm. There's a modular piece inserted into this gun, just like if you're familiar with the 320 and all the other modular mm -hmm. pistols that are out there, the Zev OZ9 comes to mind and things yeah. like that. That's the actual serialized part of the gun. If you wanted to throw on a different frame, which they do offer multiple frames, this uh, you have like a uh, slim, more slim mm -hmm. frame. Yeah, yeah mm -hmm. small accessory frame. Right, small accessory frame, mm -hmm. thank you frame thank you so much and that is that what's on this one yes yeah, this is the medium one this okay is, yeah this is still the one that they yeah. sent i didn't switch exactly it okay so what they do is exactly that this lower frame that you guys see the fire control module comes out toolless by the way without yeah. a tool you just pop it out that's cool and they've got three frame options it's not serialized frame is not serialized so small large and medium right, right. Mm -hmm. so this is medium and also on top of that it's got back straps yeah it comes with a couple of back straps itself so they made it not only fully ergonomic both sides obviously for mag release uh, slide catch uh, slide release but also made it in a way where it'll fit pretty much any hands out mm -hmm. there. So yeah. they thought of that. And moving on to slide, they look at these slide cuts, guys. So what they did is they've not only added these serrations, but they've only they've also kind of uh, created these grooves right here. So when you actually do a press check, your hand mistakenly won't go into the action. They literally specifically, uh, I read about it, which is really cool. So it basically gives you a really good grip. As for the sights, it's got the traditional uh, Springfield U rear yeah. sight and whatever, but they also have uh, special height sights, also three dot sights as well. This is really, really cool, man. 
just in case you guys wanted to see what that rear sight looks like yeah. if you're not familiar with the springfield armory sights at all you do have that u-shaped rear sight mm -hmm. with a little teacup as some people might call yeah. it and then right up front you'll notice we have a nice bright green front sight which is a well, nice thing to see it's, <laughs> easy, for, it's easy for the eye to pick up exactly yeah. and as kaya was saying too the ford slide serrations are something that i personally am a big yeah. fan of are you a press checker by chance you get up there and just make sure that the i've been learning yeah yeah so personally I don't know what it is, if it's a training thing, muscle memory thing or whatever, but fresh mag in, load it, and then just a little, Dude, okay, cool. You always want to know the condition of your firearm. Well, knowing the condition is one thing, but knowing if the extractor actually has a grip on the case is another, yeah. right? Exactly. Yeah. So yeah. it's kind of like, oh, I know I got one in the chamber. Let me just check that and grab. I think it happened to me because on my Glock, before I knew any better way back when, I would insert a book. I would actually always carry one in the chamber, right? So I'd have a fully loaded mag and out of pure laziness, I didn't want to take that mag and downstrip it one or mm -hmm. whatever, you know, I always wanted to have plus one. Mm -hmm. So I would just lock the slide to the rear, which by the way, yes, ambidextrous, ambidextrous controls, mm -hmm. which is nice. Mm -hmm. I would lock the slide to the rear, drop a round in, and then let the slide close yeah. on it. That's actually an unhealthy thing to do for your firearm. It can actually cause premature wear on the extractor. It's designed to be picked up at an angle and lock in that way, not to have it complete hard shut. And I noticed my extractor actually stopped picking out and stopped extracting rounds at one point. And I was like, uh-oh, what's going on? Did some research, found that out, right? So a press check for me came from well, intentionally being dumb. Yeah. Well. <laughs> yep. So there's that, right? So take care of your equipment, all right? So, uh, oh, you got it. That's Perfect. a really good one. I just turned around and just actually disassemble this because yeah. I want people to see how modular this is, guys. So this basically full skeleton, just fire control module, pops right out. That's it. That's the serialized item. That's the gun. You can just remove that and put into other uh, receivers that are available from Springfield. The gun doesn't come with multiple receivers. You would have to buy the receiver separately, but it does come with different back straps, right. obviously, for that. And that's about it. And trigger, dude, I you got to show that trigger. It's so smooth and so nice. So you'll notice it is your striker-fired yeah. firearm, and it also has your blade safety, which is very common now. You'll notice we have a little bit of take up. As I'm applying a little bit more pressure, we have... Mm, nice crisp drop and then let's go ahead and fill that reset slowly let it out and a little bit of travel and there it is so it's not a really loud audible mm -hmm. reset mm -hmm. that part you know that's okay you know some people like something a little bit more crisp and yeah. more intentional mm -hmm. you know so you guys will have to let me know what you think about that for me personally i think if i just run the gun I'll be okay with yeah. it. But if I want to get those really fast follow-up shots and things like that, I'd like to be able to feel, oh, yeah. it's reset, right? Yeah. Yep, there it is. But again, what do we advocate for here on the channel? Dry fire? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Doing that might help out quite a bit as well. So yeah, ambidextrous slide release, ambidextrous mag release as well without actually having to drop the mag or do anything crazy or switch out the actual button. It just is ready to go. What you got? Oh, I forgot about this. I'm glad. Uh, dot guys the red dot part it is uh, capable of accepting it's got a patented design cut and holes mm -hmm. it's accepting uh, capable of accepting over 30 different footprints really oh i didn't know yeah. that yes over 30 different footprints so if oh. you remove this rmr over here there's multiple holes and there's like these little uh plugs that yeah. you can attach to that's impressive yeah, yeah so you don't need any adapter plates because a lot of people throw yeah. a lot of adapter and plates yes you so the adapter plates i mean hey that's a cool thing it'll make yeah. sure that the fire that the uh, firearm and the optic are yeah. nice and flush the problem is though that's another failure point exactly right? yeah. it's something that has to screw into something else right and something it makes I it higher too lose. and something you'll probably <laughs> yeah. lose right yeah. mm -hmm. so it makes it higher too it's, it's definitely it, the best way to put it as you said another failure a point of failure right For now sure. you'll notice too the light is attached not via accessory rail but it is an actual picatinny rail yep. uh, also which is a nice feature yeah. so with all that being That's said it, we man. can talk about it a little bit more but i kind of want to shoot it now and let you guys know my thoughts on it thanks buddy you got yeah. a mag i do I three 20 round mag okay. also we got the 18 plus one obviously 18 over here that's 20. perfect all right cool and there is the mag exine extended and flush right there and just out of curiosity there is the pistol itself full size configuration with the extended magazine and if you don't mind kaya thank, thank you, you sir just want to take a look at how that flush mag looks in there it's just for the aesthetics and looking cool now, if you guys don't mind, I'm just going to go ahead and shoot a couple. Let's of do it. Springfield Armory Echelon, first couple of shots. Let's see here. Okay, that feels pretty good. And the controls are super nice. That mag release, very intuitive. That, I mean, this, 
That felt really good. Okay, now that I'm loosening up a little bit and getting the feel for the gun too, I gotta say it does feel really good. I think you guys are right about that. Yeah. Felt recoil feels really, really nice. I mean, just overall. That picks up pretty good. I, okay, all right, Springfield, I see you. Yeah, that is, uh, <clears throat> I feel good about that. That's nice. Yeah, all right, yeah. that does feel pretty nice. Overall weight and everything else, obviously we've got it with, uh, you know, let's just see here how it might feel without the light per chance. I'm just curious without the added weight towards the, eh, get that all the way out. Thank you for Surf Surefire for making such a quality light. Let's see, that's obviously a bigger weight difference. Let's just see how that feels now. subtly noticeable no yeah but not so much that it's like gonna bother you, you, you know, know what, what I mean? also did what's up I grabbed multiple different brands of nine millimeter yeah and grain weight yeah. they're 124 and 115 yeah multiple different brands I purposely did that and filled the mags randomly just because why not, I, why not? Yeah. because I wanted to see how it runs with different uh, different rounds okay uh, well different brands and different grain weights. Yeah. Just FYI. This whole, yeah. So, so maybe what I'm feeling is a little skewed also. Thanks, yeah. Kaya. But, <laughs> but ultimately, I mean, yeah, you guys probably haven't yeah. felt it too much without the actual light being on there, but you can, I think you can probably tell a little bit of a difference as far yeah. as the front end yeah. goes. Just a little. Yeah. Yeah, but the light definitely has some weight to it, yes. for sure. Yeah, yeah, well, yeah, just a little. They're durable, strong yeah. lights, you know what I mean? Yeah. So I didn't know if you felt that just yet or not. Yeah. But I. Oh yeah, dude, yeah. you feel it instantly. Yeah. So with all the features that this gun has to offer, capacity and all the modularity and everything else that it comes with, uh, good? <laughs> Whoa, There's like, a hole there. Is there a grave down here or what's going what on? That yeah, he would probably shot a 50 there. Yeah. <laughs> so I will say though, talking about what this gun is capable of and its overall design, I want to say that I think I agree with you as well. This definitely has a, an appealing uh, I guess you could say personality to law enforcement. Yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. law, law enforcement and uh, defense. I could see this also being a really good option for home defense, things like that. Yeah. Like, oh, fantastic yeah. pistol for that. And uh, as much as I like to give it crap, that rear sight, that U-notch sight, I was kind of switching between using, am I focusing on the red dot? Am I yeah. focusing on the front sight? What do you think? Dang. You like it? It's, it's growing. growing on me, It's dude. growing on me dude, too. I am Is it? to yeah. like it. I'm not liking that U side. I like it the is. three dots, man. I mean, the more you practice with it, though, yeah. I mean, the easier I think it gets in it general. Does. But yeah. it is, it's growing on me, too. Mm. So that's an interesting thing. Let yeah. us know what you guys think down in the comment section below about that. And is this a gun you think you guys are going to be picking up? Uh, personally, I feel like, again, I've got already so many striker fired pistols. And I think that's something else, too, that a lot of people might be seeing coming into the market. Mm -hmm. Like, dude, it's already so saturated. It's so saturated yeah. Why yet another one? And it makes sense of Springfield Armory, too. It's kind of like, hey, Let's go ahead, the XD series has been around, the XD line has yeah. been around for a long time. Let's go ahead and revamp that and mm -hmm. let's get out something too that's gonna be, again, modular, yeah. and then also fight with the little bit bigger names that are in the industry yeah. when it comes to having that dominance, right? Yeah. yeah. So let us know down in the comment section also, would you like to see a uh, SIG 320 versus Springfield Echelon? I know I do. Versus, for sure. Glock? Because I feel like everything should be versus a Glock. <laughs> That's right. I mean, it is the most widely used handguns I mean, out there. I mean, yeah. yeah but Glock 47? Glock 47? True. Versus mm. Springfield XD. <laughs> Let's mm. throw them all into the mix. How yeah. about it? Uh, but anyway, unless you guys think that's just too crowded. All right, give us your top three and we'll throw those three into the yeah. mix, okay? So comment section, do your work. But from there, any final points you guys want to make? Dude, I mean, overall, I'm super impressed again. Not saying it because Springfield sent this to us. Yeah. I sincerely mean this. The thing just runs great. Recoil impulse is really good. I really like the way it looks yeah. as well. So yeah. let's talk about that. Mm -hmm. And it is all efficient. Because some companies make their guns look all futuristic, whatever. They don't really have the efficiency in mind. Yeah. In this case, Springfield definitely had the efficiency in mind while making it look pretty. So, you know, all these muscles aren't just for show. You know, oh my they... God, shut them. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> so, all right. So you're getting two male's opinion and perspective on the Springfield Armory Echelon that have both have law enforcement and military yeah. backgrounds here. 
My turn. What about Sarah? Sarah, is this something that you would recommend to a demographic that's more likely to follow you? It depends on what you're looking for as far as like a range gun and like a, like a fun gun because I feel like most women, I mean non-law enforcement women are yeah. wanting fun guns. Um, I think this is a great option. It, it fits my hand really well. I have significantly smaller hands than these two. So I, I find... Significantly smaller. Well actually maybe not quite. But, um, <laughs> uh, but I find that it fits in my hand really really well. It's very comfortable. It is comparable I feel like to the Hellcat Pro a little oh, bit as far okay. as like the grip is concerned. Um, I like that they switched up the slide and made the slide a little bit prettier and a little more fancy. A little bit more aesthetically um, pleasing. Also. Yeah it's not like kind of... It's not, While you're on the subject of yeah. the slide I know that for a lot of elderly people, women, handicapped, things like that, it's easy for you to... It actually is. Let me try not doing it with the... With the sight? With the sight. With the, I mean... Yeah. yeah. I mean, that's pretty good. It's definitely yeah. easier than good old Glocks. Yeah. And I will say, I do sometimes have an issue, like, front racking like that, yeah. and this is very easy to grip onto mm -hmm. and, and rack. Uh, I don't find that it's very difficult at all. Yeah. That's pretty awesome. Yeah. And I also like what the point, too, that Kaya made about right back here, just forward of where the bolt is, or I should say this, the your, where your extraction is yeah. happening. Uh, you're not having to worry so much about your hand slipping than getting caught between the slide, yep. and th that, that's just not a good time, right? Yeah. right? So, yeah, that's a cool little feature they added in there, and of course, if they have this with the intention of selling or being more keen to law enforcement in a high stress situation you might not be exactly paying attention to where you're gripping the gun especially yeah. if you have a malfunction you're taking rounds you're sending rounds and now all of a sudden you just got to get the gun in battery yep. yeah well one less thing you have to worry about or something that they could just add in there that might help you out in that situation is a block <laughs> oh yeah <laughs> just something yeah. a preventative in that nature and yeah. i will say um a lot of times on these full frame guns i have a hard time hitting the mag release yeah um because i feel like i have to move my hand yeah. completely didn't, to like didn't even get think about forward yeah. um and i can hit this like almost perfectly yeah yeah, yeah. Um, i didn't even really it, i oh, think yeah. it was perfect. Just so ergonomic me, i don't have to move my hand yeah. so yeah you don't yeah. have to change position i find myself changing position a lot in a full yeah. frame gun and this I don't have to. The other issue that I've run into with firearms that feature a mag release that's ambidextrous without having to switch yeah. Yeah. is that you'll notice that this pushes out on the side. Mm -hmm. yeah. Depending on how you grip the gun, that could actually, well, not be good because my middle finger usually, don't mean to flick you guys yeah. off, sorry, but my middle finger would actually stop this yeah. button from moving. Means yeah. you, you'll <laughs> don't be mean. <laughs> Maybe. No, but what you'll notice in this case is the positioning of the mag release is in a manner in which that's actually yeah, it's not, right it's actually there. missing yeah. for me. Is it missing? Yeah. No, no, it's, uh, I, I didn't have any pro. Oh yeah, it's missing. Oh, oh good, okay. okay. I thought you meant, oh yeah, yeah. it's hitting. Okay. No, 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 okay. it's like right it's here. Just, I wanna try, I wanna try. Right, right here, you see that? Yeah. Grab so, hands. Yeah, she's like, I'm not going there. No, it's perfect. Yeah. That's perfect. They did a good job, awesome. man. They, yeah. They've learned a few things from I, the past. Yeah. Like, I, th I, th like, I think oh. they've definitely learned from their past. Yeah. I, I also really like the slide release. The slide release is completely Shoot. different yeah. than the ones that I've seen in the past. I find that... Yeah. Is it different? Yeah, it's... Yeah, so, so they, it's like... Yeah. It's, it's very yeah. slim. Um, I don't feel like it sticks out too far, but I still have like direct access to it yeah. too. Without you know, some people have problems like when you have a weird grip, yeah. the slide doesn't lock to the rear right. sometimes, yeah. so it's minimized. Yeah, so I do that all the time. I will, I will that hit that. That was my biggest issue with the, uh, my Glock 19 Gen yep. 4, I will riding hit the that. slide release. Yeah. Yep, yeah. and I, it's so minimal and easy to get to. I love it. Great. Now all of a sudden, or all of a sudden, now all we need to do though is find out how reliable, how durable these guns are. Let us know if you'd like to see us torture test one. And which one of these two wants to give up their gun to do that? Oh, no. Mm. I have full confidence in Springfield, so you can use mine. <laughs> she's, she's out, I'm out. Yeah. So you guys heard Kaya here. Let us know. Again, this is two videos that we could possibly get out of this one. Let us know if you'd like to see the Springfield Armory Echelon versus whatever else. And also, is it reliable? Is it going to handle a drop test maybe <laughs> maybe i mean i don't know I, it's it's brand new we haven't heard much about it so let's find out right well, everybody i don't want to say it man i should well if you own a sig you own a grenade <laughs> oh. i have cut thousands of rounds cut. for the m17 <laughs> through my 320 vtac and i have had joking no issues in fact it actually fell out of my holster once because i was using the incorrect holster go look at that video fort scott munitions uh, sick folks tackle. i'm just joking <laughs> I, I don't i don't want to upset them no i've never had any issues but yeah. of course we've read a few things you never know it could be user error i don't know <laughs>
I just shot myself. All right, anyway, we'll leave it off there, guys. Again, head on over to cfcontest.com to see what we got going on over there. I promise you, you're not gonna wanna miss out on that. And also, let us know initially your thoughts on the Springfield Armory Echelon. Is it just another striker-fired polymer frame pistol that happens to be modular? Or is this something new, groundbreaking from Springfield that you guys are absolutely gonna fall in love with? Let us know. Oh, and also, you're probably wondering, why haven't you talked about price? That's because YouTube would probably give us another strike. So if you're really curious about MSRP and strike, Springfield Armory has a website, and so do we. Anyway, we'll leave it off there, guys. As always, we appreciate you and your business. God bless. And we'll see you next time at Classic Firearms. We'll Fire. see you next time at Classic Firearms. Perfect. <laughs>